Hello, this is SD. I hope that you're well. We last time out we played a rather difficult Zolt C run, which we got carried by uh, an early drone recovery arm. Which was thankful because we could not get any weapons for absolutely fucking ages in that run. I hope that doesn't happen again today, because we're playing NGB, which is an even worse ship than Zoltan B. Than Zolt C. It's even worse than Zoltan B as well, despite the fact that Zoltan B keeps keeps killing my streaks. Um yeah, the ship sucks. You have one crew member, which is actually more of a gimmick than anything else. The big problem with this ship is your weapons are fucking awful. You need 100% of your shots to hit to do any damage. The heavy on is incredibly slow. It's just a giant pain in the ass. Let's vent to below 50% to try to redirect shots away from shields and weapons. Oh, we have an immediate store. We have quite a lot of stuff we can sell on this ship. I'm wondering about taking one jump. Maybe two? We could go here, here, there. We certainly sell the drone reactor booster, which is 25, and we can easily sell a system repair, which is another 15. And if there's a good weapon there, we can sell the heavy ion. I think I want to take a couple of jumps. Unfortunately, this is not a chance to make for out. This, however... Hey, those weapons look familiar. Don't care about my evade, just make my weapons faster so I can actually disable this ship reasonably quickly. I should have flashed my shields there, that was a mistake. Well, we take two damage then. The one good thing about this setup is the heavy ion ionizes shields for long enough that you can get two heavy laser shots off if you time it correctly. They didn't, so they could only get one. Double reward, go. And now we're going to the store. Do you have weapons? No. This store sucks. Oh, we'll sell the drone reactor booster and get our shields up. We'll keep everything else. A nothing jump. Go here first to see the most. Yeah, surrender your stuff to me. This would be a training fight and a crew killable fight, but they're running away, so it's not. Don't dodge the island, you stupid asshole. Thank you. Dodge the laser instead. Okay. Now we can hit the piloting with the heavy laser. We set a fire in there, good. Just in time. Cool. Well, that's basically as good as it can get, so yeah. This is going much better than that last one. Go away, heavy ion. Now we have incredibly powerful offense instead of awful offense. And we have another store. Let's take some jumps. There's a non-zero chance we could get hacking there, because we can sell the heavy ion and a um, system repair drone for... that would get me 15 plus 22, so 37. So we don't need to get that much scrap. We have three jumps before it. We can take either these three or these three, or actually possibly some other combination. 
there's no definitely no other stores after this, uh, and we have no information, so there's no way of knowing which will be better. We're just gonna take probably these three at the top. Good. This is a possible double reward. It's also training. So let's get the oxygen back. And also, we're going to swap to this, because we're going to crew kill this afterwards. But, let's turn the speed hack on. And train the three skills that I can train here. I can't train engines, because, well... My Angie is an engines. They're not in piloting. Come on. This is the lowest evade of any starting evade of any ship in the game, by the way. You've got level one engines and one crew member, so you don't even have to pass it five percent of somebody being in there. Now admittedly Mantis V often ends up with zero because you just bored with everyone. But that ship starts with two shields, and this one doesn't. Okay, there's that. You go in shield. You can't dodge, the shields will go up pretty steadily. And we'll end with weapons. Then we will try to O2 kill the ship, which will require doing the annoying manual fiddly tactic that you have to use with the NGP to pull starting weapons. The flak, while being great for killing ships, does not help whatsoever with crew killing. It's not a crew kill weapon. There we go. Speed hack off. So, what we're gonna do, we also don't know what crew they have over there because they're a pirate ship so they could have any three crew. So what we're gonna do, Heavy laser pop shields, ion into oxygen. I want to hit at least five times in a row with the ion before I switch to maybe using the heavy laser on that. Which could take a while because obviously they have dodge. This ship's going to have at least 20% of aid because it has three crews. So they have somebody on pilot and someone on engines. And I think they always have at least level two engines. Maybe I'm mistaken, like it'll only be 15%, but still. One. We also have no way of knowing what level oxygen they have. Because both of our weapons do two points of damage. So that could be level two oxygen, it could be level one. We have no way of knowing until we actually hit it with the laser and they get a point of repair. La, 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 la.
Can we get to the mighty heights of hitting twice in a row? No, apparently. I think actually their shields are ionized long enough so I can just chuck a heavy ion into oxygen now and it'll slip through before their shield. Recharge. Yes. One. And this keeps it ionized for 10 seconds, which is almost how long it takes. It's a little bit less than the time that our heavy ion takes. To, but you can see the oxygen is still ionized now. Ah, we missed. So they only get like a... As long as you keep an unbroken chain of hits, which is easier said than done, they only get a fraction of a second to recharge their oxygen. One. None. We've hit twice in a row for the first time. Three. Damn it. Because I don't know whether that's level 2 or not, I need to start all the way over. If that is level 2, they will have, like, recharged all of it, or all of their oxygen already from the time it was ionized. Now they will have done it even if it was level 1. future instances of me doing this I will cut out. I just always leave the first one in for anyone who's not familiar with the process. Two. This tactic, while very annoying, has won me NGP games I otherwise would have lost by securing me weapons drops, so you absolutely want to do it when you get the opportunity. In this case, we've already had a great weapon drop, but we want to get scrap up so we can have the chance to buy hacking and that still one. Nah, that would have been four. The strictly 100% optimal way of doing this is never swap over to using the heavy laser against oxygen. Because eventually you'll just get a chain of hits with the ion where it hits, you know, 10 times in a row and then you'll suck it. But I'm not that patient. Whereas five in a row, it's unlikely as you can see, but it will eventually, it will happen in the not too distant future. One. I said it will happen in the not too distant future game. One. So yeah, you can see there, the oxygen was on for a absolute fraction of a second. Two. You need max weapon skill to pull this off, but obviously in any fight that you... Oh, fuck's sake. Obviously in any fight where you... It's safe to pull this off, you can also train your weapons, so it's fine. Could you fuck off, please? The annoying thing is, if I knew what crew they had over there, for all I know, the crew in the, the third slot is a Mantis, and it would be safe to just shoot oxygen with my heavy laser. But because I have no idea what crew they have over there, I can't do that. You know, the crew in their third position could be an NG, and then doing that would throw the crew kill away. Two. The 
ship definitely has level three engines. One. That's the maximum you can have this early, and with crew on each of these two positions, that gives them 25% of aid, which is the most a ship can have early. Two. The most frustrating thing about this tactic is that you can't automate it because the weapons need to fire them manually. Last them one. One. I mean, in order to pull this off, hitting five times in a row, because the heavy laser has to hit as well, that basically means you need to hit ten shots in a row. If the ship has 25% of aid, that is highly unlikely. Hence, you need to do it many, many times over. blame anyone who skips over this part of the video. Two! When you're doing this, of course, you start to get some cost fallacy from CPM where it's like, you want to just give up. No, I can't do that. That will make the entirety of the time I've spent so far waste. Two. The more important point is there's no reason not to spend as much time as it's necessary to get the curse kill for the possible high scrap or the possible weapon drop or whatever, or a crew drop even, which is also really good on this ship. Hooray, we're at four. Okay. Damn it! If I knew that... Oh. I will be back in a moment. Okay, if I have eaten the cross zone, now we are ready to... Ready to resume failing.
Sure thing. Dodge everything. That's cool. There'll be a little bit of bit extra because they'll have been recharging the oxygen in the brief instance before the ion hits. Thank <laughs> you. 
Again, that's literally exactly the same thing. Okay, you've seen me get that close several times. I think you get the point. I'm going to pause the recording. I'll keep doing this off camera and I will uh, cut back in when we actually manage to hit the oxygen with our heavy laser. Okay, now I haven't done that, but what I have noticed is that they have... I've, I've only been off for literally a moment. I had like one shot hit and one shot miss. I've noticed their doors are opening. That probably indicates that this is only level one oxygen and we've actually drained it down quite low. So I'm going to actually shoot this with, the, with my laser now. It's definitely worth watching the doors if you're doing this. Yeah, we got it. Cool. So that was definitely only level 1 oxygen. So those two strings of five hits in a row that we got quite close to each other drained the oxygen almost completely. And it was worth it because that's a high scrap reward. We would not have got that by just killing the ship normally. And that might be the difference between us getting hacking and not getting hacking at that shot. So what, we have 44, we sell... If we sell the heavy ion for 22 and the system repair drum for 15, that's 81 scrap. Now, there's a possibility there'll be more fights between now and then. Uh, and then it won't matter. But we can't be sure of that. Now we can be sure that we can afford hacking if it's there. Oh, I should have swapped back to Slack. This ship we obviously cannot do any of that nonsense with, because they're running away. This missile. Nice try, idiot. Now let's actually power a system repair drone for the first time in the run. Could you fuck off? We need to shoot the piloting now. That means eating another missile, but. They were getting too close to being able to get away. Oh my god. Yeah, free long range scanners in Sector 1. This is definitely. Oh. Oh yeah, like why can't I jump? I don't have a pilot. Nope, we're attacking the pirate. This is a possible double reward. I should really be running my NG to weapons in between jumps. It's a minor misplot. We'll take some damage here. And of course it's in weapons. Not as much damage in weapons as they do. Nice work, Flack. High reward in a store. Cool. Uh, there's not really anything here I want. The halberd beam is kind of cute, but that's a lot of scrap for something I won't be using for a very long time. And it will take me 
away from being able to afford hacking in the next store in the next jump. This. Do I want to buy more fuel? Yeah, sell one system repair drone and buy the rest of this fuel. Exactly enough scrap to still be able to buy hacking if it's here without selling anything else. But it's not here. Much drag. Um, I think I have enough room to take both these fights before the exit, don't I? Uh, actually, I don't. I could take both the fights, but the exit gets taken over. Might as well go the route that sees more jumps in case I somehow get a fleet delay from this event, but I don't think there's ever any chance of that happening. Yeah, I maybe should have run my engine to shields there. I think I don't take damage if I do that. Small misplay. Attack the ship. You can buy drones from this ship. But I never do that. I always just blow them up. We maybe can kill this? I can't be fucking bothered. I'm blowing them up. We can already afford hacking. We don't know what crew they have over there. They That could be a level 2 med bay for all I know. was, it would be very, very difficult to pull off. It might not even be possible, and we have no way of finding out which they have. More drops! Clearly go to the sector that has more stores here. Still no hacking. Um, we can buy cloaking right here, I think, because if we sell the emergency respirators, we'd have to sell the heavy ion. I don't normally like selling a weapon because it may leave an empty weapon slot. My other alternative is that I could buy the charge laser, and then I have weapons for the rest of the run. I mean, I would eventually probably want to improve that, but certainly that lasts at least up until ships start turning up with four shield bubbles. <laughs> quite comfortably, and with system support, it can even pull that off. On the other hand, flak, heavy laser, cloaking against level 2 shield ships just absolutely crushes them. Yeah, and I have long-range scanners, so I can make sure that in Sector 3, I make crap loads of money. Yeah, let's, let's buy the hacking now. The cloaking, rather. This also means I have an excuse to not do any more annoying crew killing, because I can't. I don't have the ion anymore. And we get a weapon immediately anyway that's better than that, so... But I can't do ion crew killing with it, because it takes ammo. So the ion bomb doesn't really go with these very well, because it's incredibly slow compared to these, which are incredibly fast. But if nothing else comes along... It will be useful once three shield chips turn up. Yeah, give me more free stuff. That anti-drone is very useful against um, offensive drone ships. Uh, we don't have uh, anything we can do in this. That's the Robert Smith event. If we had a human, we could get a Mantis. But as it is, we would risk our crew member. That, and we definitely don't want to do that. Because that could cost us the run. It's the NG sex event. Who who are you explaining this to?
me, I guess? I mean, I'm not physically present in the game, but... Participate in their study. More free stuff. Oh yeah, I, I, I was forgetting that I even had long-range scanners, because this being an NG sector, we just kept seeing blank beacons anyway. This is probably just somebody asking for fuel, or it could be... Oh, this could be the NG medbot dispersal fight, which sucks. I'm going to avoid it. Go to this other distress beacon instead. Destroy and loot the ship. Yeah, give me free stuff. How many fucking drops have we had in this run so far? We have already had 148 uh, scrap worth of drops. We have had one, two, three, four. We've had six drops already. Go to weapons. Shoot the flak at the center of the ship where it's most likely to actually deal damage. I like how the fact that we have the ion bomb distorts, even though we're not powering it, because the charge bars are are comparative, these now are really short. Like if you do this, by comparison, like this one takes forever. So if we put this in storage, suddenly they go back to more normal proportions. Well, we're not getting a second store in this sector. That's a shame. It must have been down here. Accept their surrender. We get a high scrap reward for doing absolutely nothing. We'll buy six fuel. We have enough scrap to buy hacking now. Yeah, there was our other store. Okay, pirate or uncharted. Either way, we're going to the same sector in sector four. And we have a long we have long range scanners and we do have quite a lot of fuel, so uncharted is not too bad. Pirate could be slaver ships, which could get us another crew member. They're both equal on stores, so I feel like the nebula is just a little bit better. In my experience, nebulas are slightly higher scrap, especially if you have scanners. This is a point of disagreement that I have with most other high-level FTL players who think that a lot of them would list nebulas as the worst sector in the game. I don't agree even without scanners, but that's a topic we've discussed before. I want to see this beacon, so I have to go here first. I also want to see that top left beacon, because that's the only chance of a non-nebula store in the sector, since it's the only non-nebula beacon in the whole sector. So yeah, you see here, we went to an unmarked beacon and we still get a fight. I find those are actually not that uncommon in nebula sector. There are a lot of, of beacons in nebulas that are just empty. But you get more beacons as well. So I find that tends to balance out quite well. Find the fact that you can narrow down where stores might be. Oh, cool, we get a, another weapon. The fact that you can narrow down stores because you know one, if there's a 50 50 chance of one at non nebula beacon, so it's like, I know this has a high chance of being a store. Which, if I was in a pirate sector, I don't have that. Obviously, if that had been a choice between Nebula and NG, or Nebula and, well, obviously Nebula and Civilian, I would have gone. Or if that had been, since it was a red sector, Nebula or Abandoned, I'd have gone to the Abandoned. I might have gone Mantis ahead of Abandoned, of Nebula as well, and that one I'm less sure of. I would very definitely not have gone Rock, because the Rock Live Mine is a chance to just end my run as long as I only have one crew. Ooh. 
See? I can narrow down where stores are. Get rid of the whole missile. Get the hacking. Get the backup battery. I'm gonna get rid of the ion bomb, maybe. Actually, I can use that weapons four. I have no reason to get rid of it. So, yeah, keep it for now. Now we start working on getting the cloaking hacking cycle. We want to get another crew member at some point, just in case we get forced into a rock sector, because, as I mentioned, the rock live mine is a possible just death sentence. But we know the next sector is not a rock sector, it's forced green. It could be for Zolt 4, which is spooky as fuck, but with the cloaking and hacking, we can make it work. I'd like to find an offensive drone at some point, cutting through Zolt shields quickly and just generally synergizing with my fast weapons. That's not very lucky. Just gonna focus on upgrades for the foreseeable future. Unless I see a store, which I don't. Get power. Vent everything except this little corner of the ship. Turn the anti-personnel drone on for the first time in the run. Oh, for fuck's sake, now go and protect my cloaking, you stupid thing. They're gonna break that little bit. I don't... Sending an NG to protect it isn't gonna do anything useful. Uh, let's oxygenate this room and then they can just run and sit in there. They're probably just going to sit in these rooms anyway. I ought to have turned this off. I'm going to lose the drone part now. That was dumb. Had I turned it off and had it just stay there, my NG would win this and it would be fine. Is that my oxygen going, like, below and above 25% repeatedly? Because that was a very odd noise. We can get our oxygen back now. I don't really need to keep venting below 50% at this point, but I might as well. Uh, take this fight and then the low power battle, depending on what I see here. Well, that's annoying. Can I maybe just take that out? Even using the anti-personnel drone does not actually do anything, because it won't fight your one crew member. the cloaks there. That was silly. Yeah, take this stuff down below. Arm the weapons, how dare you call me repugnant.
go kaboom. Okay, no, you idiots don't go kaboom. We have two pike beams sitting in our hold. Actually, more useful, I think, to keep piloting here. Cool. These idiots will go kaboom. Don't go into the dead end. Our one store could be in that jump, well, our one nebula store could be in that one jump in the bottom right corner, but whatever. If I keep these close to being ready to fire, it was more likely for me to knock this offline, but unfortunately my flak shot did not hit. There we go. I thought they would actually prioritize keeping these because they were close to being ready to fire, but apparently not. Whatever. Can we look to see if there's a store? There isn't. So these are my only two jumps left that I can see that might be stores. I have time before them, so I'm going to take this and this, even though these are empty and are likely to just be nothing. And I'm not going to spend my scrap because of that possibility that they one of these is a store. But it isn't. Um, should I do this? I obviously, if this is manually search, I obviously can't risk it, since that would just be a chance to lose the run. This is probably a silly thing to do, but I'm doing it anyway. Okay. Well, that worked out quite nicely. In the next sector, we can fight ships with three shield bubbles, so I would like to get my own bomb online now for that eventuality. Kruka? Not enough hole left to work with. I could maybe have done something with the oxygen, especially if I like ion bombed it or something like that. I need a store just to sell some of this junk cluttering up there. Okay, NG Homeworlds is a quite gentle sector. This is annoying. I want to upgrade, get scrap to upgrade my weapons enough to use the ion bomb, but I don't want to sell all my missiles to do that. Sell five. That's enough to get it online. I don't need to use this for very long, because I'm going to swap onto the pike beam. It's just this allows me to not have to go to weapons five right now. We are going to secure the cache and get another anti-personnel drone. 
We can actually prioritize trying to find a store, because our, our hold is now full. We have four different things that we can sell. Uh, I'm gonna just take this. This is a cheap human, and we're getting to the point where having only one crew member is not advisable. You start getting boarded in Sector um, 5. Ships with teleporters start boarding you with two people by default. Go to this distress beacon and then up and around. We'll skip this fight. Send the anti-personnel drone to smash the giant alien spiders. So yeah, this is why I've been wanting to find a store. The anti-drone of these items is the one that sells for least, so get rid of that. Suppose I could use a small bomb instead of the ion bomb, but I don't see a great reason to. Anti-personnel drone crush them. Oxygen back into your face. No! I actually wanted that person to survive. But then they'd aborted me again. Where did you go? Fire must have spread to shields. Yep, it spread back to shields. Crew kill. Nice, nice. Even more stuff that we have to get rid of. Let's get rid of the anti personnel drone next. Okay, good. We finally have a fucking store. We had to throw away 30-odd scrap in the last couple of jumps, but... Get rid of that, get rid of that. We don't need two pike beams, that's for sure. In fact, do we even want to have the other pike beam now that we have these two heavy lasers? I don't think we do. No. I don't want to be using this at the end of the run because it requires shield hacking. But this will do for now. I'd like to replace this with another flak. And maybe this with a heavy two. It'd be nice to find a training fight now. Do this. I can't get 100% Cloak of Aid because I don't have engines training, so there's no point in pushing level 4 engines right now. I should have bought fuel there. Why didn't I buy fuel there? We will message them with our NG. These are added to the next sector, so this is the NG Homeworlds quest, which is decent. We will attack this pirate. Because of the charge too, we can't perfectly cloak hack cycle this, but now that's down. So let's shoot their shields. Their shields are on fire. Cool. Is this a dive if we do this? I think it is. It is. I mean, we could dive here, but I don't see the need to. Cool. 
we're going to reprogram the virus. This gives us a repair I think that we don't need. It gives us a reactor boost, and it gives us the drone reactor booster that we started the run with. No, no, it doesn't give us a repair. You need level 3 hacking to also get that. But, you know, we can sell this, and free reactor is useful. I think we can take both of these jumps, yeah. Yes. Really regretting not buying that damn fuel. Uh, let's keep our hacking. Give me a high scrap reward. This is one of the events that is a random reward. That was not a high scrap reward. That's a low scrap reward. We did get two fuel from it, though, so it's not all bad. Yuck. Yeah, Sector 4 energy bombers. They're most commonly you would find them in... Um... In Zoltan sectors, but you can find them outside them as well. And this ship... Level 6 weapons, level 6 shields, and a drone. This could have two drones. It is not impossible for this ship to also have two offensive drones in addition to everything else it's got going on. down right before it could fire. I'm not, even though that's a very good fire, I'm not messing around trying to kill this. They have a med bay, they have an MG. This ship is really dangerous. Blow them up and move on. Very good reward. If we don't find anything else, which seems unlikely considering how this run has been going, we can always do this later on. Increase our shot total. Uh, we're not going to Abandon 5 with only two crew. Abandon 5 is horrifying. As mentioned, Sector 5 is when you start getting boarded by two crew. And being boarded by two Lanius, who potentially have mind control, and we only have two crew, is really, really spooky. Um, the uh, event, the worrying radiation event, would also be quite spooky here, so I'm going to get the buffer upgrade on my med bay. I'm also going to take the oxygen buffer, although those events are less scary. So these two quests have to do with the NG Homeworld quest. We'll be looking out for which one is the decoy ship and which isn't. Okay, cool. This is the double reward possibility if we attack the Mantis. Nice one. Got one of the bugs. And they should die before they can board us again. Finish them off. That's a good augmentation. You know how to how to keep yourself alive. Okay. Now we really, really want to get offensive drones. We have three drone slots and drone recovery arm. We could do some silly stuff. Very, very silly stuff. I have to sit here and wait, unfortunately, for this to... In fact, this is the kind of thing speed hack is for. Let's 
let's take a look down here, because this is the last jump that could be a non-nebula store, since that's a quest. I need to take this, we need fuel. We have loads of scrap already. I'm actually gonna get my hacking all the way up here. Okay, so this is one of the quests from the NG Homeworlds event. And the way you can tell whether this is a decoy or not is when you hit continue, it comes up with a message. This is a decoy. We know why, because of this comma. If it, the message on the real event is exactly the same as this, but that comma's not there. Is that a silly way of knowing that this is the decoy event? Yes, absolutely. Does it work? Also yes. Can we stop this ship from running away? Maybe. fucking fix that as the heavy laser was coming in. Are you fucking kidding? You had one shield bubble there. Asshole. Good lord. Ignore him and attack. I knew you were going to do that. They have a repair drone over there. They're rebels, so they're only humans. There's no way that they're fixing that that quickly. That was a repair drone that was enabling them to repeatedly get the piloting back. Asked to see the goods. Understood, forget this. Ah. That can turn into a fight where your weapons are completely disabled, so it's generally not a good idea to just play along with what they say, but you can sometimes get them. They decide, okay, they're not buying this, let's just attack them. We can cloak hack cycle the dangerous weapon here, so I'm going to shoot shields. And try to shoot cloaking as well here. Good. should have pre-cloaked it instead of actually cloaking it.
It's only one damage. Not accepting your surrender offer of like two fuel or whatever shit that these slugs would offer us. Where the fuck are all the stores? Go here to check that beacon. We might not end up getting that quest, but. So be it. Okay, this is the really spooky event. And yeah, imagine fighting this ship if we had to give up our hacking. I have two borders that are immediately in my weapons. Uh, you go here and you go here. Fight is a guaranteed high reward, so it's quite good. It's just it's very dangerous, if, especially like that event can spawn with the borders and mind control and a bunch of other nasty things. This ship, by comparison, does not need it. Fucking, fucking hack. <laughs> Knock this chain ion off before it gets fully charged up. Which we seem to be having some difficulty doing, but we will do it. Very early ship with four shield bubbles. We're gonna need to hack those shields. Considering we only have five shots. Fortunately, their weapons are not too bad. We take one weapon out, the other one can't do anything. Now we need to hack shields and shoot shields. Now they're in a position that we can easily be. Okay, we have a store now. Okay, good. The other one is at this beacon. So I think that's the only one we've not seen. Nice. I like this store. 
I'm not buying the Beam 2 drone, it would be too expensive. In fact, I can't get Combat 2, Combat 1, and Beam 2 online. That would require level 9 drones. Um, so we least need of these to system repair drone. Do you have crew here? No, otherwise I would probably buy some so that I could get rid of the anti-personnel drone as well. I think the sector have shown that we cannot decisively do that. I'm going to actually get rid of the anti-drone then. Or actually, no, I'll keep it for now because I'm not going to upgrade my drones enough to use these yet. And... That being the case, I may as well... And since I can't get them all up, I might as well... Actually, if that's the case, I might as well do this. Then I can upgrade this and that, and then I can use the Combat 2 drone in every fight. We'll be diving in this sector, but who cares? So, exactly the same message, but no comma. That's because this isn't a decoy, this is the real fight. This thing's going to annoy me with, a with an anti-drone, but it's fine. We can use the depower thing. There we go. The only way to get scrap from that event is to be able to crew kill them before that message triggers, which, short of having a teleporter, is really hard to do. Uh, one moment, please. Okay. Take another fight. Attack this shit. I won't bother using my, uh... Ah, fuck. I won't bother using my combat two drone here because I don't want to bother doing the depower stuff. And this enemy is not dangerous at all. Low cack cycle that missile. It can't even fire. Good thing, too. I should have a chance to get max engines reasonably soon. You go indoors. You'll vent these idiots.
we're very strong, we should be alright. chance to secure um, fuel or ammo, you need to curve kill for that to be worth it, and I'm really confident in my ability to do that, so let's just skip it. Come here. There's another store in this sector. I'm not giving up this much scrap for a store that we, you know, is nice, but we don't absolutely need it yet. Oxygen is burning now. And 
their crew appear to be, which means there's probably fire in this room, their crew appear to be too low health to even be willing to risk going into oxygen. Hopefully this isn't level 3 Columbia, because that would be awkward to take down. The oxygen in this room is way behind the oxygen in the other rooms. It had a bunch of fires which drain oxygen from a specific room. So we don't want to fire yet, because then the engine will go and fix it. It'll be too early. Now we waste a lot of our backup battery time with them cloaked. Offensive drones, because of how rapidly they fire, like each level of shield is so is like hugely more effective than the last. Once you can reduce them to one or two shield bubbles, they start to really just ramp up the damage. Okay. If we can crew kill this, which we probably can because of that isolated oxygen pocket. We can get a double reward, plus we get a full repair, plus we get titanium system casing. Our anti-personnel drone isn't even at power, but it's still doing what we need it to. back in here so you can heal while our combat 2 drones up. But I want to be a little bit sparing with this combat 2 drone. There we go. Turn you off. I don't want it just randomly flitting around doing whole damage. I don't want to do whole damage. I want to get a crew kill. Having to break through multiple hack doors before they can even begin fixing this is 
a very large obstacle for them to deal with. It's annoying that that is level 2. I powered this up to pop a shit bubble. I powered it slightly too fast. Damn it. like I may have, or that I got one. No, I didn't get one up there. They've just fixed that. This might not work, because I don't think I've got... I've had good luck getting fires. Damn it. Happening. That's a shame. So, no double reward. The reward we get anyway is quite good. It's just obviously it's better to get the double reward. Oh, I I finally get the fires there in the end, but it's too late. Skipping this fight to see more jumps because I really just want a fucking store. No, you're gonna do this, are you? Crush them, anti personnel drug. kill phase one. Of course, we once again have so much stuff that we need to get to a store just to sell something. If anything else drops, we can't have it. Okay, they have no shield, which means they are weak. considering buying all three of these crew. I'm certainly buying at least two of them. You can go in shields. You go in engines. You don't have very much piloting skill at all, so actually, no, you go to engines then and you go on doors. So we can 
can now get rid of the anti-personnel which means do this. Why did we do that and then not actually put the fucking combat one drone on my bar? You fucking idiot. So now immediately boarded me and With this much combat drone power in terms of helping the pop shields, I may never upgrade off these. I would like another flak one as the ideal weapon. Their shields never recharge once these two things are up because they just apply damage too quickly. You get up there, wow, cool. Hey, hit that city dodge in this time. Out of the sector. Um, we could get the. If we go to Rock Homeworld, we might end up getting the Rock Live Mine. If we go to Rebel. They're both dangerous. But I should be fine. If I'm in Rebel Sector, I may also be able to find um, an auto ship fight where I might be able to get a hull breach and make it trainable. That would be very useful. Got an immediate store. We'll take this fight and then go there. We have multiple things that we can sell if we want to. I think it's exceedingly unlikely I would ever upgrade to use both of those whole twos, because that requires me to get to weapons eight, which considering I'm also on like you know, level six drums, I would have a hard time ever powering that anyway. Generally. 
from doing it. In that case, do we just sell these two and stick with these? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, there's another store. I guess we'll check that out, though, but we'll take these fights first. That's definitely the last store we see in this run. Mm -hmm. Pulsar fights with this many offensive drones are quite hilarious, albeit they do have an anti drone, which will be annoying. Like, who cares? Oh yeah, you fired at the hack, that's why you're not firing at my offensive drones here. One shield bubble against multiple combat drones is just not gonna work. And now they can't dodge. So we can just cloak the drones and finish them off. Double reward. Cool. I'm gonna do this for a damage buffer before I start working on my other things. I don't know that I'm gonna get the highest level of shields because level 8 drones is insanely expensive. Thank <laughs> you. 
That is also run the backup battery and use this stuff in reserve. Spent enough scrap on crew in this run. We've not got a single crew drop in the entire run, all of these extra crew we bought. Investigate and try to communicate peacefully. Okay, we do get one crew member for free. Um, you go to engines then, and you go on shields. We definitely want a repair station, because even with drone recovery arm, drones can get blown up. I don't care about a store. Okay, this fight should give me enough to get this up. But I think it's pretty much guaranteed, even if it's a not enough time event. Which I think this is, in fact. Actually, no, that isn't. You asshole. You know, it means we're not cloak hack cycling, but with this much firepower, a shield hack just makes makes so that their shields are not up for basically the whole fight. They die long. Fuck's sake, like, they shot two drones in that fight. Like I said, drones can get shot, that's why you have to go to a repair station. Okay, so this fight can be the first one in which we unleash triple combat drones. Also, I'd like to get cloaking three now, maybe an engine buffer since I don't have training. 
Here I'm hacking weapons. I have double missiles. I will shoot shields. The great thing about shooting shields is you can just cloak even before shots are in the air. If you've taken them out completely, they died almost immediately. But like once you've got the shields down very, very low, it doesn't matter whether or not you are cloaking to just... You know, the, the time you buy from cloaking on its own is enough for your combat runs to just rip the enemy to shreds. We obviously aren't getting crew kills with this, but who cares? Phase 3 will be over in a blink of an eye. I have a missile, which means we hack that. Shoot shields, though. Close now. He'll be dead before the cloak ends. I don't think it's worth going here. This could get taken over and then we have to dive. And it's not likely to be scrap anyway. Just give me more power. Run level 2 oxygen for this phase anyway. I'll probably get level 3 piloting before the final phase because I'm vulnerable to my pilot getting money controlled. Thank you. 
start like this, that way we can run all the drones right at the start of the battle without having to power back up batteries. Since we can't use hacking until the Zolm Shield is down anyway. <laughs> Now we want to hatch you. It's okay, sweetie. brought something into the room. It's an extension lead. And whenever she sees anything that is not what she expects, she goes absolutely mad. Oh, for fuck's sake, I lost an engine. Oh, well. Oh my god, that was my original engine. Rip. Engage the hack now. So, zero damage, but alas, I did lose my original crew member. It's a bittersweet ending. Angie's feel no fear, so. Pretty mediocre stats all the way through, but that was quite a fun run. It's not often that going to level 8 drones is the correct play, but uh, it worked there. That's 10 in a row now, and we've got two quite bad ships out of the way in our last couple runs. 3, 2, 1, go. And we get to do some boarding next up, and Mantis A is a pretty decent ship. So, I hope you enjoyed the drone nonsense, and I will see you for Mantis A. Bye for now.